Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're using tarot cards again and we're asking the question, what can I do to improve my finances? So we have uh, four options here. We have the Zoltan Codex uh, tarot here. We have the Maya tarot deck here. We have the Epikios Gear tarot deck here. And we have the Native American uh, deck. And so we are going to be asking what is it that we can do to improve our finances. So go ahead, make your selection. And this is deck one, deck two, deck three, and deck four. I'm going to go ahead and begin the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one here, we're asking once again, what is it that we can do right now to improve our finances? What is the information or the knowledge or the advice that I can receive from this reading so that I could go ahead and improve my finances? So we're just going to give these cards a shuffle and they're falling all over the place here. So in this first option here, what I see is that um, there's almost like a delay in how things can go about, or what things can, how things could could move ahead. So it's as if you're not planting the seeds. It's as if there isn't uh, an acknowledgement of the abundance that you have, or there isn't the sense that you could recognize what is um, an opportunity that's around you. There's also a sense of there being a bit of um, a bit of impatience or a sense of feeling like, you know, despairing, not really clear about where to go to, not really clear about how the situation can be resolved. And the energy here feels like, you know, you just, it's almost like you've given up even though you haven't. And the other thing I want, I'm picking up here is that there isn't really um, a sense that one can believe, one believes that you can actually create what it is that you desire. So the first piece of advice here is to turn these cards around really and to, to basically uh, to make these cards from the reversed into the upright position. And if we were to do that, if we were to actually look at our, the, the situation and, and really just um, give it the attention that it deserves right now, then you would be able to see that um, you can actually water these plants you can actually create something you can actually plant the seeds and that the abundance will be around you that the the um the blessings are there and even though it looks like what is around you is a bit chaotic or confusing or there isn't certainty your little bubble can actually have that certainty and it's up to you to just be able to believe that it can happen because right now I feel like there isn't the belief that you can actually make it like even even if you have started up something or you are, you are busy doing something it's like you don't really believe that you can do it so the what you need to come overcome first is the 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 inability to believe in yourself you know just to understand that you can be prosperous that you can be abundant that this can be um, this can work out better and once you've done that then you'll be more open to the blessings that are coming your way and uh, when you are you know planting your seeds um, when you are creating your vision for what it is that you need to do um, as you go ahead then you will be able to uh, to believe in that like 100% whereas here it feels more like this person is doing it but they're not they don't really believe in what they're doing and they don't really believe that they can be successful. So I think that is the first hurdle to overcome here. So here I would say um, that if you are thinking of setting up a business or you are thinking of going into something that's entrepreneurial, whatever it is, it's time for you to actually get into action and do it and not delay any longer. I think also that uh, if you wanted to if you are in a job already where you're wanting to move positions or move or move to another uh, department, that one of the things that you need to be able to do is to be able to plant the seeds for that. You need, need to be able to, to state that. It needs to be seen that you want to move. It needs to be seen that you want to get that promotion. It needs 
to be seen that um, not that you're not happy where you are or that you're dissatisfied where you are, but it needs to be shown what it is that you actually want to do or where it is that you want to go to. And I feel that once you are able to do that, then um, the blessings are surrounding you. It's like the, you know, the skies are blue here. There's a rainbow. There's a tree that's growing and it's abundant. And it's simply about you actually putting your what it is that you desire into being and, and not hesitating because this card is reversed and I feel like if you it, I feel like you're hesitating to do this I feel like you haven't begun actually getting it off the ground or you haven't begun um, uh, doing what it is that you actually want to do it's more like you're dreaming about it and thinking oh it would be so nice if I could do that or it would be so nice if I could move in that direction or if I you know or, or just feeling frustrated that you're not there but here it feels like you know, you haven't really begun doing it. And I, I can hear that some of you are shouting at me, frustrated, saying, you know, but I have been doing it, you know. Um, and why isn't it going, why is it uh, happening? Why isn't it working out my way? And I feel that um, with, with regard to you, if you feel like you have been doing something and you've been spinning your wheels, like nothing's really been happening. Like you've been doing the same thing and over and over and you haven't really been making progress with it. I think in that case, it's necessary to actually... Uh, take a step back and and look at what you've been doing and and see if you can do things in a slightly different way because it feels like right now whatever you're doing is not paying off for you and you need to be able to get to that state where you are able to make this pay be a payoff for you all right it basically shows me that there is still some way to go but it shows me it gives me hope because it, it shows me that you haven't just planted those seeds and you haven't just begun but you've made progress in it and and when you're making progress you've made good steady progress with it so i feel like once you turn this uh, around like once you actually get this thing going and you, you you shift the energy with regard to that because that's something that you need to do right it's not something that's reliant on outside forces or reliant on environmental forces it's something that you actually need to go to do and I feel like when you've done that then there will be progress and there will actually be this um this this, this kind of sense that you know you you're heading somewhere and I feel that even though you know you there is a sense that you're heading somewhere you're going somewhere with this whole thing it's as if you know that there's still the satisfaction there so there's this overriding dissatisfaction that needs to be worked on it I, I would say that, you know, when we're asking this question, what can I do to overcome my, or to pr improve my finances? That's the question. Um, that, that the one thing that you can do is overcome your sense of despair, overcome your sense of dissatisfaction, you know, just be able to appreciate more, appreciate the things that you have. So you might be really dissatisfied if you are working with people, you might be really dissatisfied with the, your employees and their, and what, they, what they're doing or your colleagues and, um, and their input. But it's about being able to see what it is that they're giving and what it is that... Um, that they're doing that's positive and be able to fill your vibrations with with positivity because if you're constantly uh, looking at what's not being done and you're constantly despairing or you're constantly criticizing uh, or, or critiquing what's uh, at hand um, uh, then it's not going to help you feel abundant and it's not going to help you grow and, and move forward because all you're thinking about is what is not right as opposed to all the things that are right. And this is not to say that you shouldn't make sure that your work is done perfectly and you shouldn't make, you know, you shouldn't care for the quality of the uh, of the output, but you really need to um, lighten up a little bit and see how much has been done and see how much of input is actually been put into this whole thing so it feels to me like that is a little bit further along for some of you but for those of you who are in the thick of it right now and you are steadily working it's time to be able to not look at how long it is that you need you know you need to take to be able to get to this new place but rather to see uh, to recognize how long it's taken you to get to this point and and to be able to celebrate that and be able to give yourself a pat on the back with regard to that and just be able to see it and not not be despondent uh, about things um i feel here there's also this energy about walking away like there's a sense of you know getting to a certain point and you actually are um you know, fed up almost, or you're bored, or you feel like you you can't, you just uh, don't have any hope any longer, and you just want to move on. And I feel like some of you may be asking me that question, like, uh, you know, do I need to move on from this? Do I need to stay in this, or or do I actually need to move on from this? And I think in in your situation, um, 
it's nice if you know if you're really feeling that you need to move on from this if you're really feeling that you you should have left this job a long time ago or you should have moved on you should have done something else a long time ago and you haven't done it and and that's your delay and that's where you're feeling like things are not moving or things are not shifting then i feel that like you need to be able to to do that immediately because you can't just um stay in the situation and 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 wonder well is it going to change or is it going to get better when is it going to get better because if you feel this desire to move, if you feel this does desire to leave things, then you need to do it now because you don't want to get to that point where you've built up something to a certain point and then then just walk away from it because that's going to make you feel really... Um, it can make you... It doesn't have to make you feel that way, but it can make you feel really um, like you're lacking faith in your in your ability to stay or that you you know you have staying power or you, you lack... Um, the ability to make the correct choices for yourself and so you don't want to be left with that feeling so I feel like right now if you are one of these people here who is like walking away because one of these cards here show me somebody who's walking away it feels like what you need to do in in this situation is just really uh, ask yourself do I need to leave and if I do if I'm going to leave then I need to leave right now and then you make preparations to leave for the next a uh, few weeks or months and then just move on with your life and if you know you are feeling like um like you don't need to leave well then ask yourself well what is it that i need to do for myself here that's going to help me to to actually want to be in the state and so you must be asking well how am i supposed to improve my finances how is this going to actually help me improve my finances well i feel like here there needs to be a certain degree of sincerity in the work that you do there needs to be a certain heartfelt component to the work that you're putting into this and this is what one of these cards are showing me because if it's lacking that then you won't be able to improve your finances it's not going to be able to shift and so once you start being able to uh, give that input you know from your heart and and want to be there and want to do what you're doing that's when things are going to work out okay and in that case you know it, so there's a couple of things here if you want to leave you need to do it right now and then the second thing is that um if you are, you know, planting seeds, perhaps you you leave and then you need to plant seeds somewhere else, well, then do it wholeheartedly, like you really believe in it, like you really have the courage to believe in yourself. And once you've done that, then, then be patient because it's going to take some time before you actually get to the place where you're wishing that you would be at. But um, I know this sounds quite trite, but it's, you know, the, it's, it's not about the destination it's about the journey over there and if you can get yourself to be able to enjoy every moment as you move along uh, step by step then you'll be able to uh, f feel much better in the process and it will also be able to help you improve your finances because this is because that's the question we asked right uh, how can I improve my finances and and so the the answer here is be more heartfelt in in your work be more sincere make the decision whether you stay or leave believe in yourself uh, and what you're doing and then be patient because it's going to take a bit of time and then also recognize the the input of those around you and um, try not to be so dissatisfied with whatever it is that they are offering you so that's it for you for those of you who've chosen the first option here and um, I'm going to move on and I wish you all the best in being able to move along and improve your finances. So for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we are asking the question, what can I do to improve my finances? How can I improve my finances? And that, that's the question that we are asking today. Okay, so for those of you who've chosen this option here, I would say that in order for you to be able to improve your finances, you need to be able to multitask and you need to be able to get more than one project on the go at a given time. That it's important for you to do so with a great deal of, um, of uh, momentum behind you. And this momentum is not something that can be questioned. It's like you need to go with, with this thing, with all the energy that you have and all the resources that you have and it's it, it shows me that 
um, the person or the querent here needs to be having their hands on many pots and so basically to have more than one project on the go to have more than one business to have more than one as association with um with money to be able to bring in money from more than one place and to be able to do so relentlessly um like so i would say that you know this card would come up in this context when somebody is not relentlessly pursuing their their dream or not pushing hard enough, perhaps you've just been busy with one thing, or, but you want to improve your finances, so they're saying, well, go with it, go with to it with all your force. You know, what are some of the hobbies that you have that you can turn into a business or a, a part-time income? And where is it that you could be improving by perhaps studying further and um and bringing that in as a means to be able to to increase your income so the other thing that they show me here is that it's quite easy for you to be able to increase your finances it's quite easy for you to be able to get to that position where you're feeling quite happy and quite satiated with all your efforts and you know, feeling like you've made it and uh, it's up to you to be able to get to that point. I feel like you, not only can you get to that point and not only can you can you actually, um, you know, create that for yourself and, and do that in a fair in a fairly quick amount of time, but also that you can maintain it for a longer time. So there's, you know, these are really good cards and I feel like you can make it work for you and that it can actually be something that will be... Um, will be, you know, to your favor. I do, however, feel that the first amount of effort that you put into this as you go on now, the amount of energy and the effort that you put behind this is actually what's going to um, maintain the momentum. It's actually what's going to be the impetus for the successes that you have later on. And so this right now is a very important time for you to be able to make those decisions and almost be ruthless in how you go about doing it now, almost be you know, ensure that you are building something for yourself, like you're building your empire, uh, you're building your throne, you're building that whatever it is that you need in your life and whatever it is that you've desired, whatever it is that you desire, you you state it and you, you decide that you're going to go with that and actually just build that and make it happen for yourself. And it's almost as if like with no time you're able to do that and, and then you are sitting on your throne and you have um something to showcase you have something to showcase something that you've done something that you've made that you you need not uh be concerned about what it is that you have that you know you quite quickly make some gains and once you've made those gains you actually are in a state where you have authority over uh the situation or you've made you have some kind of um um uh a state a state of of being able to make more more to be able to create more so to be able to improve your finances even further i feel like there is one caution here and that caution is to make sure that you're not emotional or you're not sentimental as you go along because emotion as uh, some a kind of emotion or sentimentalism will actually deplete your energy and will in fact um well it won't really help you sustain the efforts that you've put in put in or the the funds that you you create so it's to say well um go ahead and 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 put everything into it but be, but be a bit ruthless about how you you go about it and don't get bogged down with your how you're feeling and don't get bogged down with what you're feeling on a particular day or how how that is going to you know um impact you because you just need to make a decision that you can go along and do all these things and then everything else that follows is is just what you you've decided to do and there's no space for some kind of emotionalism or some kind of emo feeling uh, because that's just going to hold you back and once you actually have created what it is that you desire you need to remember that as well you need to remember that being sentimental in your case is not necessarily going to help you and it's not um, your your friend when it comes to being able to improve your finances I feel, however, here yeah, that you could actually convert that uh, any degree of emotion or, or sentimentalism into some kind of uh, sense of being empathetic uh, and, you know, just being able to understand what others are 
uh, going through and this this helps you along the way this helps you to see your path um, better and it helps you to to help others along on their path as well so in order to answer your question what can i do to improve my finances or how can i improve my finances um the the answer is just to simply put everything that you have into what you're doing right now and and go for it just really go for it and uh and um if need be uh put your fingers in many uh, in many parts like basically go out there and start new projects or get involved in in other people who are already involved in projects don't be afraid to meddle with more than one thing don't be afraid to start something new and also um if you if you can or if you feel inclined to then do go ahead and and study further because this is also going to help you uh in terms of improving uh your 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 ability to be able to bring in more funds i i do feel that these are really good cards though and i, I don't think that you have anything to worry about it's it's like you know a just a bit of effort right now is going to take you a long way and you know that that is better than most people actually can can have so go ahead and you know do what it is that you need to do right now and i feel like for most of you you have an idea of what it is that you have to do it's simply that um you know you're not really putting yourself 100 behind it so if you do that then then go for it and 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 good luck and yeah go make lots of money <laughs> all right so i'm wishing you all well as you go along and um i'm going to move on to the next reading so for those of you who've chosen the third option here we're asking how can i improve my finances we're asking today how can i improve my finances and we're going to see what the advice is going to be So for those of you who have chosen the third option here, we have innovation and rebirth and then the reversed in the reverse position we have the unexpected and the prodigy. So I want to say here that you are invited um here like in a couple of the other readings already to be innovative in and in how you want to go about um uh making more money or being able to improve your finances so if you've been thinking about actually starting off something new and you've not been sure about it the this is a yes this is a yes go ahead you need to be able to do that and don't you don't need to actually um wait any longer you don't need to actually uh, second guess yourself it's okay to go ahead and 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 move ahead and do something new. I want to say however that if you are currently in a in a in a job and you're thinking about setting up a new business and you're wondering if you should leave your current job, it rather don't do that at this moment because there are even though I see you being innovative, I see you actually being entrepreneurial, I see you actually setting up something new and moving on and and creating something um that's more sustainable for yourself and I see it being a rebirth of you completely not just in terms of you know your your work and your finances but also in terms of you as and I see this all as being positive what i see that uh coming along is um that's in the reverse position here is that i expected and the prodigy and the way in which i read these cards together is that uh there's going to be something that's uh, coming up ahead that's going to impact your finances and it's not something to do with you and your efforts there is something coming along which is going to impact you in a way that you haven't really been thinking about so the the i would read these cards as more like the economy and competition as opposed to you know something that you were doing that's something that you can control because the way i see it both these things are not in your control so if you are currently in something and you are thinking about you know leaving it to start something brand new i would say the the brand new part is good but don't leave whatever stability you have right now in terms of financial stability you just hang on to it and you can go ahead and begin something that you wanted to perhaps on a smaller scale or you know perhaps in a way that is not going to um impact your current financial income um but but you really need to be able to stick with whatever it is that you have right now this shows me that there's going to be a big wave that's going to come and almost like hit not just you but everyone else here and and then and that's going to be difficult 
for you to actually um, sustain yourself only on what it is that you thought you could work with. So if you have not been thinking about actually setting up something new and you're wondering like, what is it can I do that I can do to to improve my finances? And, it, you know, you don't have any entrepreneurial um, inspiration or longings, then I would say here that um, you need to be able to be to be more innovative in your own in yourself and in your own capacity at, at your work or in whatever it is that you're doing and it, in order to rebirth yourself so that you can actually be able to um, face that which is coming your way and face any other competition that might be there. So it's almost like, you know, you need to be able to um, to reinvent yourself and to be able to imp- give more or give differently than what you've been giving right now and something that's closer to what you believe in as opposed to what you need to be doing. There's also a sense here that if you're training somebody to work with you uh, or or working with somebody along the way um, that's in a junior position or somebody that doesn't know very much or somebody that's young, that they they could actually replace you uh, or or take your your work. And, uh, you know, my readings are not about um, implanting fear in people, but these cards here show me that there needs to be caution with regard to a younger or a... um, a younger person or somebody who is in training with you because uh, they could actually, you know, slip your job out from underneath you. But there's something also here that it shows me that, you know, that, that you actually are in control of that, that you have, you know, you, you know about it, like you've been warned about it and you know about it. So you you can see it coming and therefore it's not unexpected and, and you are able to manage it uh, as you go along. There's also a sense here that, you know, when you are actually doing the rebirth, that you're actually pulling something out of the ground, that you, and you know, the way I see it is it, it's something about yourself that you've been, that's, that you have in you, that you haven't been put into practice. So it might be something that, you know, perhaps you were um, uh, some kind of professional play, a sports player or, or something like this and then right now you're working in management and it's almost like saying well you know in rebirthing yourself what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing the sports again you're going to be that professional player again and it's it's you know you're not going to need to work in that management um um, position perhaps that was a mistake or perhaps it's not been a mistake but it's been something that has to, to fill in the the gap and it's time for you to bring out something in you that you that is innate to you that is it is easy for you to do and that has come along um, that has been a part of your life already in the past so obviously this doesn't just apply to people who are sports um professional sports players but obviously it applies to you you know perhaps you are doing uh, tarot readings as a, a hobby and it's saying well you know this is something that you can do more professionally or perhaps there's something else some some kind of creative thing um that you or some kind of handicrafts that you've been doing uh, as a hobby or it's something that you're good at doing and that you like doing and it's something that could be moved into a um as a, into a professional work that you could do I also feel that if you were to choose to create to make a hobby into something or something else that you're really good at into bring that into the forefront of your work that you have a lot of blessings as far as that is concerned so that is what they're suggesting actually they're suggesting that you bring something from your life um, that it belongs to you already and you actually make it work uh, in your daily life and you can actually you know create an income from that there is also this um, uh, the sense that you know being a forthright and being innovative and not not being afraid to put your ideas out there is actually uh, encouraged at this time. In these cards, even though you are planting something and there is like good fortune coming your way, there it is necessary to understand that you need to be cautious as you go along here because uh, caution is is really is highly indicated in in this situation. So that is my reading for those of you who've chosen the option number three today. I hope that has helped you and I hope the warning in there will actually help you as you go along uh, in the next while. And uh, good luck with you, all of that. So for those of you who've chosen the option number four,
those of you who've chosen the fourth option here, we're asking, what is it that we can do to be able to improve our finances? What is it that we can do to improve our income? How is it that we can increase our income? And uh, the cards that we have here are the Craftsman, Warrior of Shields, the Stars, and Ruin. And I feel like the message very clearly here is that you need to actually do whatever it is that you do, that way you can make something, where you can create something, whether it be art, whether it be something um, like a hobby type of um, of activity or some kind of handicraft or whether it be, you know, that you're a carpenter and you can create tables and stools um, or something like this, or whether it's, you know, just doing something, doing something usually with your hands. And, and the advice is, you know, do that and see how it is that you could go about selling that and actually um, and, and being able to make something from it because that is where your wealth is going to be. That is the advice here. That's how you're going to be able to improve your income. Now, I want to say there's something else here. Um, there is good fortune for you as far as the, creating this and, you know, it shows me that you will be able to um, increase that and, and actually move it along in a way that you you could be quite innovative in the way in which you go about doing it and you'll be able to you know um go further than you have imagined with it but there's something else here as well it shows me that if you are defensive about it if you try to protect it too much if you're afraid that somebody's going to steal your work or if you um you know afraid of criticism of what people say and and you know if you if you're creating a youtube video for instance and um you don't like all the dislikes that you get and you you, you can't let that get in the way of actually um, pursuing what it is that you 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 want to pursue, because there are going to be naysayers along the way, and there are going to be people that are going to put you in a position where you feel like you have no choice but to be defensive, and you need to protect your craft. You need to actually you know protect your craft from the greater majority or the people that are around, or maybe it's not the greater majority. Maybe it's just one or two uh, people who are giving you a hard time, and. Um, the, the message here is that, listen, you are supported in whatever you do right now and we are going to make it happen for you, we're going to make it possible for you. So just go along and do that. But don't be too defensive about your work. And, you know, if you receive criticism, you can, you know, take what uh, what you need on board and then just discard the rest uh, because what you have here is already good and you don't need any naysayers uh, telling you otherwise. So if you create something and you go to somebody um, and you show them your goods and then, you know, they say, well, oh, what is this garbage? Well, you know, you don't need to take that personally and stop creating. You need to actually just find another community or another set of people that, where your work can be appreciated and where your work can be taken in and where you your work has value and you need not um, be put off by people who, who do not value what you have to offer. The other message I see here is that if you're t dreaming about things, if you're imagining, you know, where this can go and what this can, where this can be put and you are taking too huge steps or too much, too large steps forward um, without carefully negotiating your way that you're actually going to find yourself in the middle of nowhere with regard to this and it's going to bring you into a sense of feeling disappointed in yourself or feeling like you failed but they don't show me failure in this card and they don't show me that you fail exactly what they show me is that there is a sense that you know if you take this criticism on board that it may f make you feel like you know you you don't belong or that you you don't actually feel like you know your work belongs anywhere but um that is one of the messages the other message here is that you know if you if you are are pushing too hard and you are feeling like you're not really getting any kind of um um in interest in your work or nobody's biting then you could feel out quite desolate uh, as a result and that could make you feel quite broken in, inside so don't get to that point where you're actually feeling like that and if you are starting up a business for the first time and, and embarking upon something new recognize that they are it's not always smooth sailing like it's not always going to go well there are lots of hurdles along the way and 
you know, recognize that. Don't let it get you down because there's a sense here that you you could become depressed when things don't work out your way or when things don't work as well as you hoped that they would work out or when you receive criticism or when somebody attacks your work or when, um, when, you, when you dream about something and it doesn't happen and you're wishing for something, um, you're wishing for it to go in a particular direction, but it's not actually going there. And it's, then you start to think, oh, well, I've just been imagining this, you know, I've just been dreaming about this, but it's not really um, the, true. It's not going to really happen. And so th these cards are telling me, well, you know, don't be feel dejected because uh, your dreams haven't come true or because you aren't able to make some of your dreams a reality. Just backtrack a little bit and see what you can make a reality and do it step by step, you know, as the Italians say, piano, piano. It's just um, take it easy uh, and um, d do it one step at a time and, and, you know, don't go too fast, too far ahead because that is what's going to make you feel like you are a feeling but uh, desolate or but alone. So if you have a project and um, and you are asking about this project and, and the the well-being of this project, I want to say you know take on board certain criticisms or certain advice that people give you, but look at the landscape of where you're doing this and how you're doing this, and look at whether you really fit in there and whether it's the right place for you. And if it is the right place for you. And then look at how you need to conduct yourself in that environment because that is going to be key to your success and uh, and that is what's the important message here for you today so well i hope that message has helped you i know it's a, quite a brief message and uh, you're probably expecting something else but these are the cards and that's what's come up and that's the message that's come forth um, so I hope that has helped you and I wish you well as you go along and I wish that you are able to make lots of money and you are quite abundant in your future. This is a great time for abundance and so good luck as you go along and uh, you know make it happen for yourself. So with that I'd like to wish you all well and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.